Hey guys, welcome to a new class. My name is Nahid. Today we'll be discussing all the Arya Samaj, Theosophical Samaj and all these Samaj, the societies that have helped greatly for the development of Indian nationalism. So let's look at that. The first thing that we have in today's discussion is Arya Samaj. So we'll be looking at that today. So you see, Arya Samaj, it was founded in Punjab, okay, in the year 1875. Who, who, who founded that? It was founded by the Sanskrit scholar Swami Dayanand Saraswati. Okay, this guy founded this Samaj in the year 1875. Now, what these societies did do in those times? Actually, they uplifted the situation of women, all the social levels that we had in the society. These Samaj, these associations, actually helped in removing them, just like the Brahma Samaj of. Raja Ramon Roy that we discussed in our previous class. As you can see here, like Brahma Samaj, Arya Samaj also believed in unity of God. They also believed that there is unity of God, it's just one unity and encouraged you know, monotheism and discouraged polytheism. So they believed in one God, monotheism, and they discouraged polytheism, that is uh, worshipping too many gods. And at the same time, they uh, encouraged idol worship. Okay, encouraged monotheism, sorry, uh, they discouraged, they discouraged idol worship. They didn't want, they didn't support idol worship. Murti Puja ko bilkul hi support nahi karte karte. Arya Samaj criticized, just like the Brahma Samaj, they criticized child marriage, casteism, polygamy as social ills. This Samaj also believed that child marriage at a minute age is not good. They also criticized casteism, the caste differences that we have still prevalent in our society. They didn't support that as well. And at the same time, they didn't support polygamy, which is like ma uh, more than one marriages. They didn't support that as well. Swamiji was a strong advocate of equal status between man and woman. So Dayan and Saraswati, he believed that man and women should be treated equally. That their status in the society should be equal. He pleaded. For widow remarriage, just like Brahma Samaj, you might have seen Raja Ramon Roy filing for widow remarriage. That's the same thing that Anand Saraswati also supported. He said widow remarriage should happen. Spread education among women. He also believed that women should get proper education. Arya Samaj supported sea voyages. As I said in my previous classes, that if anybody crossed the sea in those times, um, their religion seemed to have um, uh, uh, broken. People used to believe like that in traditional. Uh, orthodox Brahmin family people used to believe that if you cross the sea your religion is no longer with you but Arya Samaj Swami Dayanand Saraswati he supported that sea voyage is fine if you go to a different country it doesn't mean that it destroys your religion discourage all types of superstitions associated with it here superstitions associated with it means superstitions related to sea voyages like if you go to a different country in here if you go to the western side your religion will go away from you. These kinds of philosophies Swami Dayan and Saraswati strongly discarded. Swamiji considered the Vedas as the true source of Hinduism. You see, again here, just like uh, Raja Ramon Roy, Swami Dayan and Saraswati also believed that Veda is the true source of Hinduism. It means, if, you, if anybody needs to learn about Hinduism, they need to go to Vedas and whatever written in the Vedas, it's the, it's the absolute truth about Hinduism. He gave the slogan, okay, go back to the Vedas. This is what he promoted. He said, go back to the Vedas means go start reading Vedas uh, about our religion, everything you have and you need to follow from the Vedas. Arya Samaj also began something called Shuddhi movement. Okay, what does that mean? Shuddhi movement means it converted the non-Hindus to Hinduism. It means basically people who are not Hindus with this movement, with this particular ritual, they converted the non-Hindus into Hinduisms. Uh, which they could not only preserve the identity but also take the nation to the right progress with that they uh, preserve their identity identity means the hinduism and they also promoted hinduism in our country later branches of Arya samaj samaj was established in many other places branch of this institution was opened up in many other uh, places in india thereby facilitating the growth of nationalism by their programs and activities so they did much work in this field and because of that it prospered the uh, it actually promoted nationalism okay okay so with that we finish Arya Samaj
In my next video, I will discuss what is Prathana Samaj. Till then, bye-bye.